Greetings this morning. Uh, it's Monday, uh, June 7th. We uh, gather here outside of St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York. My name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here. Delighted to pray with you this morning. Let us begin. God is spirit, and those who worship must worship in spirit and in truth. O oh God, let our mouth proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. Praise to the holy and one and undivided trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> our psalm selected for today <clears throat> is Psalm 56. Have mercy on me, O God, for my enemies are hounding me. All day long they assault and oppress me. They hound me all day long. Truly, there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Whenever I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid. For what can flesh do to me? All day long they damage my cause. Their only thought is to do evil. They band together, they lie in wait, they spy upon my footsteps, because they seek my life. Shall they escape despite their wickedness? O oh God, in your anger, cast down these people. You have noted my lamentation, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not recorded in your book? Whenever I call upon you, my enemies will be put to flight. This I know, for God is on my side. In God, the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust and will not be afraid. For what can mortals do to me? I am bound by the vow I made to you, O God. I will present to you thank offerings. For you have rescued my soul from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Our scripture passage this morning is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, beginning at the 35th verse. As he approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard a crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. And then he shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who were from front sternly ordered him to be quiet. But he shouted even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and ordered the man to be brought to him. And when he came near, he asked him, What do you want me to do for you? And he said, Lord, let me see again. And Jesus said to him, Receive your sight. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he regained his sight and followed him, glorifying God and all the people when they saw it. Praise God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That particular passage always impresses me. Um, not because of the necessity of the man, but the question that Jesus had of him. Um, it would seem by the first view of this scripture that, well, why would Jesus ask him what he wanted to do for him? It was quite obvious that the man was blind, that he would need his sight. And yet, a lot of times, those such things aren't, aren't what they appear. What we appear or sometimes think is an obstacle in our life sometimes is actually a blessing uh, in disguise. Or those things that we think are really the problem, when we look deeper, when we take time to reflect, we see that there's something else that's much more complicated or much more um, hidden that needs to come to light and to be opened. The beauty of this passage is that Jesus doesn't hesitate. Unlike his friends, who are trying to keep this guy quiet, uh, not to disturb Jesus, um, I guess they thought that was their role. <laughs> it's like, 
it would be like somebody walking around with security, you know? Uh, everybody having to keep a distance. But Jesus doesn't allow that distance to take place. He invites the man to come to him. And I think about that in our own life and, you know, how distant sometimes we feel from God. Do we allow God into those hidden places and those places that need healing and that need light in our own life? And we need to open ourselves to that possibility. Can we invite Jesus to come close and to actually bring us new life? So we spent some time on that today, this beautiful Monday day. Um, it's proving to be quite a summary here in New York. <clears throat> and we take some time to uh, pray for each other. We open ourselves to God's healing blessing, especially for all of those today who are who are blind, who are blind both physically and also um, metaphorically, you know, who um, perhaps have, have been unable to see uh, the grace and goodness of God in their midst. We pray for um, our world today, um, continued prayers for those who are struggling with this pandemic, especially in those ear reaches of the world where vaccines have yet to arrive. We pray for those who are struggling with loss, the difficulty of losing someone you love. Um, it's often a case where it, it blinds us to other realities around us. Guide the leaders of the nations in the ways of peace and justice. Give your wisdom and strength to all who lead us in faith. Comfort and liberate the lonely, the bereaved, and the oppressed. Keep in safety those who travel this day and this week, and all who might be in peril. Heal the sick in body, mind, and spirit, and provide for the homeless, the hungry, and the destitute. Guide and protect all children who are in danger. Shower your compassion on all prisoners, hostages, refugees, and all of them who are in trouble. Forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and turn their hearts. Hear us as we remember those who have died. Grant us with them a share in your eternal glory. Hear us, O Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we could ever ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. May God's blessing fill you this day. May you know deeply how much God loves you and God comes to you and is open to bringing healing and light and life to your life. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day.